the record. This year is going to be very simple. I'm starting off the year with a simple and light video like I did last year. Yeah, with your favorite model, she's back. What mainly I want to talk about is people being afraid to experiment. Believe me, you can watch my videos however much you want. If you don't experiment, it's not going to lead you anywhere. I can talk about all the signature portrait lighting techniques if you don't get up from your chair or your bed to go sit or move some lights around or experiment on taking some pictures it won't become better who are less explorative when they enter into the studio i mean the natural light photographers i have encountered so far when they whenever they enter into the studio they are less explorative they are so concerned and concise about ratios of light precisely where you're placing the light to get the kind of feel they want and all that and i have also encouraged that behavior where i precisely tell people oh yeah you need like a feet or two away from the subject you're shooting given concise settings and all that so if you have realized my previous three or four videos i have never mentioned anything about the settings i used in taking a picture I get questions all the time about what picture profile you're shooting, what settings was your f-stop, what was your ISO, what flash power was it. I mean, I can literally tell you everything, but if you don't have the same 20 by 20 square feet studio space I have, you will never get the same result. There are some rules and laws in photography and having that knowledge having that understanding from what i learned in school using them making sure they are more applicable in life i think that's one aspect of going to school that helped me personally right understanding the inverse square law how light travels understanding how light travels within a modifier understanding angle of incidence understanding angle of reflection understanding what soft light is what hard light is understanding how shadows are created understanding how long a shadow can be created, how short a shadow can be created, understanding how to wrap lights around everybody, the direction of it, all falls under understanding the physics of light. So yeah, don't run away when you hear physics of light because it's going to be helpful to you as a photographer. Hi guys. <laughs> Get ready with me. Oof. Get ready with me to go and do a photo shoot. So, so this is my shoe that you raise your leg. This is my shoe. <laughs> this is my hair. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. To be right, nothing. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It is what it is, indeed. I wanted to do a simple one light setup today to commemorate the year. Happy New Year, guys. Yeah, there's nothing happy about the new and the year, but. It's still a simple one light setup and i would want to show you guys a discovery i just made when you're using parabolic modifiers because i'm not using a diffuser and the light spread i want that center intensity on my subject if i don't position it or if i don't angle it appropriately i'm going to have that intense that middle intensity where the reflection is coming from hitting on the other side all right so let me move it so that i show you what i mean look at me with this way it bounces up if i move it this way it hits the floor that's more or less fine-tuning it to the point where i want it to happen keep changing chin down exactly oh i like this so i'm going to move the camera back so you see how the lighting is i moved i changed the angle of the light source as you can see uh, i changed the angle of the light source from it's been straight to top down and what currently this is doing is making sure i'm getting sort of some side lights together with a little bit of angled light source from the top in my earlier discussions i did mention understanding the phases of light so the first thing i would want to do is to make sure i'm positioning the light at the space or in the direction i want i want you to approach lights and positions this way pick the center 
as your model and move the lights in the direction of a clock. Do you understand? So if she is my center, I would assume looking this way will be her six o'clock and behind her will be her 12 o'clock. So if this is six, this goes to seven, this goes to eight, goes to nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, I'm going to be doubling between say seven and eight and maybe nine today. And I'll try six o'clock also for you to see how the phases of light works. Give me a microphone. Don't buy it. You have money. Guys, nothing. Hands are very neat. I mean, if you guys want me to get a microphone, go and support my channel by purchasing some of my products. The speed. Right. So there's a lot of specularity, but there's mood. Turn down. No, look in that direction and turn down. Can I have you? figured out something using the bounce or using this particular modifier if i move this all the way back this way i sort of reduce the contrast i know i'm blowing out with my white alpha closer to the light if i move or increase the distance between the light source and the reflective surface i sort of reduce the contrast that's happening as all i have to do is move the lights closer but if I reduce the distance between the light source and the modifier, I increase the contrast on my subject. That's one trick or one tip I have realized over time using reverse umbrellas. So keep that in mind. On a bigger note of things, I bring this video to a successful end. Why? Because I'm hoping everybody now understands the need for exploration, the need to move things around. And if I say exploration, I don't mean on a client's shoot. You can't do that. You can't explore. You can't show the client you don't know what you're about. You have to do that on your own time. So get a model, get your own space whatever light you have explore and see what works best for you my biggest take to me always shooting in the studio me exploring different lights and setup is that anytime i have a particular shoot with a particular client i know exactly what they're looking for and i also make sure to have all this plethora of knowledge with regards to how each light will work for each scenario just so that when anyone books my studio when anyone wants my direction on what to do with respect to an image they've sent, I know exactly what lighter setup to portray or to produce for them. So that's generally what my exploration is all about. To gain more knowledge, to teach you and to also know specific or import or specific situations to pull up what lighter setup at what time, wherever, whenever. So yeah, practice makes you better, which always makes me better so i'm hoping it also makes you better make sure you visit my digital store buy something get me more cash to buy new stuff to pay this girl to buy to buy a microphone i mean this this particular one is to buy a microphone right so 
Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to, to Don't forget to learn. Yeah. Peace.